Good morning, you guys. Hi there, it's Lori Winslow, and I'm with Rain or Shine Chalk Design. Um, <clears throat> I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture, and um, Chalk Couture is a company that um, has these amazing transfers. Uh, we're going to be using this um, <clears throat> alphabet transfer today. Let me double check what the name of this one is. This one is called eclectic ABCs that's right good morning Thomas nice to see you again <clears throat> so this one is called eclectic ABCs so we're going to use this on our canvas to create a little message um, I love about chalk couture transfers one of the things I love is that you can mix and match and use parts of the transfer you don't have to use the whole transfer so today we're going to write a message using these um, eclectic letters um, and I think it'll make a cute finish we're gonna use um, the rooster today um, he is retired I'm hoping they will bring him back um, because he is just such a great print uh, again it's one of those transfers that you can use bits and pieces of you don't have to use every part um, have some really fun um, fonts and expressions that you can use they do have, there is a chicken, um, there is another chicken and rooster, there's two, two chickens, or a chicken and a rooster. Anyway, they do have, they still have one of those. It's a little bit of a smaller transfer, so the, their sizes are a little smaller. Okay, we've been making, um, <clears throat> oh, I love the rooster too, Kathy. I'm sorry you don't have him. Maybe they'll bring him back. He is a wonderful one. So I have been um, making um, a four-part series um, to go in my hallway. Um, we're really enjoying these. Um, I love that black canvas. This is um, the first one that I did. And then I did some sunflowers. And this one has some hidden writing. Um, I did it in black on the canvas, so you can see it in person, but I probably can't get the light just right, but it was kind of a fun hide and seek. And then I did some leaves. That was the last one that I did. So today we are going to do the rooster and I want to do the rooster in white. So the rooster is going to go on here and take a, a quite a bit of space. Um, and then I'm going to write some words using those letters. So let's get started. So I have used my rooster a lot of times. Um, I'm working on a canvas. Sometimes you'll find that canvas is very... Um, it's almost slick and you might need to fuzz your transfer. So you can always test your tran your surface. So what I like to do is take my surface and just lay a little bit of it down and then pull up. If I find that it's really sticking hard, then I'm gonna be a little more careful about fuzzing and getting it um, ready before I commit to sticking it all the way down on my project. So we really like um, country type stuff. My husband grew up um, with family who farmed. Um, I grew up in a farming community. My parents didn't farm, but my grandparents did. Um, so we we both like um, a little bit of country in our house. So um, that's why we're gonna go with the rooster and I went with the cow. And you know, you don't have to have that background to enjoy um, a country look. Um, 
I think it's great no matter what. Um, all right, so I want to write the words, wake up. So I've got my rooster. He's the one that wakes us up on the farm. And I want to plan out where my letters are going to go. So I have, let's see, I have my four letters. I'm thinking about saying wake and then up. I think it'll be cute. It comes, uh, these are going to hang right outside my son's bathroom. And I think that's a great message for all of us. First thing in the morning is wake up. Let me see if I can find my ruler real quick. There it is. It was just hiding from me. So I just want to double check about how much space this is going to take. Um, that one's... Four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. Five, seven, nine. Okay, guys, adding this early in the morning, not such a good thing for my brain. Okay, so if I put my letters really close together, it's going to take about nine inches to write the word wake. So I know I don't want the letters going on my, don't really want the letters on my rooster's head. Um, the A is the biggest letter. It's a four inch letter. So I'm okay with that one. Um, I don't care if it overlaps a little bit, but I don't want it to really interrupt the look of my chicken. So where was a nine? So you guys are really getting to work with me on the fly. I hope that you don't hate that <clears throat> completely. Um, I do try to decide exactly what I'm going to do. I think this is going to be okay. I think the W is going to go a little bit over his comb, but I think that'll be okay. I really want a big presence um, for my rooster. All right, and like I said, I want to just do, um, I want to do him in white. I want him to kind of match the cow who is white. I've got a lot of other colors going on in those other uh, black canvases. Um, and I do want to do the wake up in a little bit more bright colors that match the others. So I don't know if you can tell, but my transfer is not doesn't have a lot of sticky left um, I, I've used and used and used this guy <clears throat> but it has enough that it will it will stay down Kathy we should get together and you could use the rooster you can come up with a project and you can use this guy. I just think he's so fun. And I know not everybody wants a rooster in their house, probably. But, oh, I just find him to be so cute. I need to make a few more of those trays. Um, that's one of the projects that I did um, with the rooster. I got a, I believe it was a 14 inch tray from Lowe's. It's just a wood round um, that I made into a tray. It was a pretty simple project. Um, the hardest part was probably putting the handles on. Um, the tray. Uh, because it's a pretty thick wood, which is good. Um, and I really liked the way it worked out. Okay, let's give this guy a look. He's, he's a big guy. So, putting a... Putting a big guy on can be challenging. 
I'm sorry you guys aren't going to be able to see it as well at the beginning. Uh-oh, I got a little bit of those letters on there. Well, that wasn't planned. I wasn't paying attention. I got a little bit on that M and A. Well, let's see if we can figure out a way to deal with that. Get to talking and not paying attention, guys. All right, I'm going to put my rooster over here. Let him hang out off the, one of my desktops. All right, so I've got a little bit of uh, extra I agree, it is more fun to craft with friends. We should definitely get together and make that happen. That would be fun. All right, let's experiment with a Clorox wipe and see if it'll take any of that off. Um, I'm okay with a little bit of it being on there because it doesn't look like anything right now. It doesn't really look like a letter. If I have to uh, do a little bit of playing around, I can. Okay, well, that's coming off a little bit. Well, I kind of like showing you guys mistakes. Um, while I don't like making mistakes, um, I do like showing you that, um, you know, some mistakes you can recover from and some not so much. So I'm glad I tried this. Now we'll have to see how this, um, if this wipe affects this canvas at all. Because it does have a little bit of Clorox in it and I have not put any Clorox on a canvas before, <laughs> obviously. Um, so we'll have to see if that messes with the color there. Um, but I'm gonna grab a dryer. Let's dry this rooster. Did you guys see how quick that is? I just love how quick these projects are. This will be dry really quickly too. Here we go. You dry that little spot where the bleach went. It looks like it might have taken up some color. It's either a taking color or it's leaving some colors. I'm not sure which one. Let's see. Okay, let's take a look. So I think that might just be some fuzz on from that, um, that, that bleach wipe, but I think it's gonna be okay. That's awesome to know that you can actually get that a mistake off. Okay. Um, all right, that feels pretty dry. All right, I want to work on my letters. This is gonna take a little adjusting and readjusting, so uh, bear with me. I am gonna to have to dry letters in between. So if I were doing uh, Chalk Couture for the first time, I probably wouldn't cr be creating my own letters, um, my own words not my own letters, but my own words. Um, learning how to manipulate everything, um, my advice would be stick with, um, at the beginning, just stick with doing regular projects. All right, I think I'm going to put my E on and kind of work backwards. This is a new transfer, so I know it's going to be pretty sticky, and it's big. 
So another good reason, probably not to try this on one of your first projects. Um, of course, if you want to go for it, go for it. So I am going to fuzz this. I don't normally fuzz on a canvas, but I do know this is a new transfer. And I need to go down to the, let's see, I think I'll fuzz it down to the K because I know I'm going that far. I did wash my, um, my fuzzing cloth and it came out beautifully. So I'm going to work on getting that E in the right place, and I'm not sure the best way to do this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> not Good thing I fuzzed it. Okay, you see how the green has touched each other? It can be really difficult to get that undone, so thank you. Lord, for letting that come off easily. <laughs> um, let's see. How's the best way to do this so you guys can see and I can see? All right, we're going to work on getting that E up to the top. You need about six hands for these large transfers. This is like an 18 by 18 transfer, so it's really large. I think I'm going to have to take the whole thing off, guys. And that's okay. I was just thought I could get away with not. Let's see if we can get that E up in the corner. A couple extra hands would be helpful at this point. Having something sticky that wants to stick to everything, not exactly helpful. Okay, so I'm getting my E here. And you know what, I'm not sure why I'm trying to make these letters straight. I kind of want the idea of, you know, the rooster jolting you awake. So maybe Letting the letters be a little bit askew is probably a good idea. They're not the same size letters. They're all different sizes, which is what I love about the eclectic letters. So I think I'm going to let that one kind of go sideways like that. I'm just going to make sure that I'm making good contact. Um, since my Since my other canvases use these um, warm colors, red, orange, yellow. I want to keep going with that. Um, I don't want a big jolt, a big change. Um, let's see, what's the smallest? My smallest letter is the W, so I think I'm going to make that one my red. I don't want tons of red um, on this. So I'm just going to dip into my chalk, go ahead and get this letter on here. I am really um, enjoying pushing myself. This is definitely a push, guys. Um, I could have easily just picked something simple um, to put on this canvas, but I want to keep demonstrating the flexibility, um, the creativity that you can come up with on these projects. So I hope you guys like um, like the craziness <laughs> of um, what I'm trying. Yes, I thought about that, Kathy, too. But as a teacher, I really want to use this print probably several times with the whole alphabet set, too. Um, I know that our friend Gina Luker was the one who... Um, created this set. It was her her brainchild for this one, uh, this, the Eclectic ABCs. So 
Um, she said she will cut them apart, um, but I agree with you. That would be that would be pretty tricky to get those letters um, apart because you need that green um, adhesive part in between the letters. That's what holds it on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this E with a little bit of dry, dry it a little bit. all of these fonts in this set um, to me that is just super cool all right so I'm gonna do wake and then I want to do up down here and the, the U and the P are huge so I think that's gonna be fun so I think uh oh I stuck to itself again oh boy it may be stuck like glue that's the part I didn't fuzz <laughs> oh my Oh my, oh my. Ooh. I may have just wrecked my, um, my live. I don't know that I can get these apart. Let's see if we can get the P on the canvas. I might have to, uh, I might have to stop if I can't do some of these other letters. Yikes. Sorry, guys. Well, Let's review what we learned from that. Fuzz the whole transfer, Lori. Don't try to just do part of it and then monkey around with it because, of course, it's going to be difficult to use. Now, if it's stuck together, um, you might have to go to the sink and put some cold water on it and then you can pull it apart. I cannot pull it apart right now because it's super stuck. So... Um, Kathy, I'm sorry your internet is having problems. I could be on my end. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't delved into the, um, what to do. So maybe if your internet is acting up, we'll just act like all of these problems aren't happening. And, um... Just, we'll just pretend that the finished product is good. Well, I'm gonna do what I can on this, guys, um, but I really have created a monster for myself. This huge transfer is not gonna come apart. I already know that. Um, so I'm trying to salvage a little bit of this so you guys can see it. Ugh. Well, this is real life, guys. And real crafting, right? I mean, sometimes things just happen. So here is my... Ugh. Hang on, let me get this pulled up. Sorry, I'm totally in your way. All right, so we have our, our E and our P. Um, you can see that that's what it's going to look like. We're going to get another, uh, the U here, and it's going to say wake up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me see if I can salvage any other letters. My K is not going to work right now. It's stuck. My A could work. My U could possibly work. Um... Ugh. Sorry guys, I just think I'm going to have to stop there so that I can go and unstick this from each other. I don't want to ruin my transfer. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> um, I really apologize. I think you can get the idea of how this is going to look. I'm really happy with it so far. Um, I will show you the finished product. Ugh. I hate ending this way but I just don't know another way to do it um, I will come back maybe I can get it unstuck and come back live again um, that'll be my plan all right I'll come back and finish up thanks guys 
huh, if I don't see you later, make it a great day. And don't stick your transfer together. <laughs> Bye.